this is my most exciting recipe to date because I can't wait to share it with you. This is my cajue pebe, cajue pebe, okay? It's the hardest recipe you could probably make and it only contains two ingredients. Pepper, peppercorn, freshly crushed, and pecorino romano. That's it, that's all. And of course, your pasta, whichever you choose to use. I always suggest spaghetti. And today I'm using a boiello. It's a Neapolitan pasta, very, very good. I like these ones because, this one, because it's trafilato al bronzo, okay? When it's worked like that, it means it's like a rigid cook. If you look at my pasta, can't tell, but it's kind of like rough, okay? If you ever get to find that, trafilato al bronzo, it's the best you can get. Okay, um, it's that type of procedure in, in uh, forming the pasta, making the pasta. So we're going to do it the same way you do any other pasta. Okay, water boiled with salt. Notice I don't have a lot of water here because this recipe calls for a lot of its starch. Okay, so again, there's three of us. This is 500 grams. I'm gonna use a little bit more than half a package. Okay, you're gonna throw that in the water. Okay, and you're gonna let that bad boy cook. It says 10 minutes more or less on the package, but I am gonna take that out at least two or three minutes before it's cooking time. At about five minutes of cooking, I'm gonna start making my mix, okay? The cream of this pasta, which is una cremina. I'm not really gonna do this in Italian because any Italian, well, let's say any Roman, is born with this recipe in their veins. Non lo faccio in italiano perché praticamente gli italiani, eh, piuttosto comunque gli romani, ce l'hanno nelle, nelle vene, nella DNA questa ricetta. Chiaramente da una canadese, italo-canadese, non viene a seguire la, la mia ricetta o procedura per il cacio e pepe. Ok? So, make your water boil nicely with your pasta in it and wait at about, until about five minutes. Sorry guys, if my English and my Italian are a little bit, I'm trying to do both, and now I find that my English is really lacking. So bear with me and uh, see you in about five minutes. Okay guys, one thing I need to mention, while your, um, your cooking water is boiling your spaghetti, remember, if you usually add a tablespoon of salt to this pasta, or your pasta regularly, do not do that with this recipe. Half of what you would normally put because the pecorino cheese is extremely, extremely salty. You will ruin the dish. Now, at this point, you're gonna get a frying pan. You're gonna turn the heat on, okay? Now, you want fresh peppercorn. Do you see that? Fresh peppercorn, which means they're the little balls of pepper, okay? Now, yours doesn't come with a grater or a mixer right inside, okay? Just get the pepper and crush it with anything. Look what I'm doing. Turning on the stove and crushing a whole lot of that pepper. Okay, when I say a whole lot, it's not that much, but it's gotta be. Do you smell that, Dan? The answer should be yes. You do smell it. You don't need to put any oil or anything in this pot. Do not put oil. It's not needed. But now, I'm gonna show you how I said that this pasta first needed to boil for about five minutes, right? Because you want the almond. Listen to what happens when I add, now, the next step, one cupino, okay? One ladle full of cooking water to your stove with your pepper. Do you see those bubbles? That's the end. One and a half to be exact. And you're gonna smell amazing, oh my God, fresh pepper in that pan. Now I'm a lefty, excuse me. And you're just gonna do this, okay? So you're creating like a pepper bath, okay? If you feel like you want more pepper, feel free to do so. Just don't overpower your recipe, okay? I added just a little bit more. Okay. And that's what's gonna happen. Look, okay? Look at the, the bath of pepper water, so to speak. Now, what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna keep that simmering, put it lower, lower right down, okay? Still to bubble, you want it to bubble, okay? Still bubbling, but not too much or else it's gonna evaporate. So you're gonna lower it. In the meantime, your pasta's still cooking, right? Okay. The next step we have to take care of now is the cheese. Very, very important. I'll show you that in three, two, one. Here we are in a separate bowl. If you have three people eating, you're gonna use three scoops of this, okay? So, one, two, and three. And you're gonna put that, yeah, you saw, I added a little bit of extra, in a bowl, just as such, okay? And then what you're gonna do to here is you're gonna add one and a half ladles of cooking water. One and a half. Okay, look at this. Your pepper water is still cooking, folks. Okay, and this is what's gonna happen here. You're gonna turn that and it's gonna form a nice little cream. Okay, it's not going to be very thick. Okay, it doesn't have to be at this point. Okay, now watch what you're going to do. To this cream, in three seconds, I'm going to add something. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, now you're going to add an additional one, two, three. Okay, because there's three of us. You're gonna close it up and now look. Slowly, you're gonna turn off. And now, it's gotten thicker, right? Okay. You're not gonna place this near any heat now. You're just gonna leave this until your pasta's cooked. Right there on the countertop. Okay guys, we're gonna check on our pasta and we'll be right back. All right guys, so your pasta's cooked now. This is what you're gonna do. While you've got your burner, still cooking your, let's say, pepper bath, you're gonna drain your pasta in there. And we put it in our pan of the boiling pepper sauce. Okay guys, look what's happening here. Look, you see the cream that it's, it's forming? Okay, so what I do at this point is I add just a little bit more. Look, look over here, Dan, please show them how it, you see? Okay, now I added a little bit more. Keep your water for reserve, guys. And that's continuing to form. Look at that. Look at those bubbles. Okay, you're gonna check. Look at that, it's already creamy. Okay, and I, by the way, I haven't added my cheese mix. Okay, so you're gonna give that a little toss. And I'll be back with the next step. Okay, guys, so this is what you do now. You're gonna add gonna shut up your stove sorry and you're gonna add your cheese to that mix sorry this is a little bit difficult just because I'm a lefty and it's hard sorry if you're gonna get the Sun in the background the cheese to your pasta okay guys I'm gonna do this because I don't want to waste this cheese why not, right? And now you're gonna do what's called manticare in Italian. Manticare slowly in your pan over the heat, but shut off. It's not on, okay? And all that amid is gonna be released. All that starch will be released in there. Okay, give it a few toss-ups. Toss it, toss it. Okay, and I'll show you the last step. In three, two, one. And your last step now before serving is, whoa boy, give it a light dust. Have some more pecorino. Okay, and the final, final touch.
a hit of pepper. Okay, take a look at that, folks. That is called your mouth-watering cajou pepe. Look at the cream that is formulated all on its own, huh? Okay, so, I am really sorry to cut this video short, but I gotta go eat my cajou pepe because cold cajou pepe is like uh, cold french fries, okay? Hope you enjoyed it. Try it, try it, try it. You will not regret it. Mwah.